Good day everyone. So I'm just off Cape today in a little village called Buzzards Bay and you can see in the distance beyond the park is the railroad uh, bridge that leads from off Cape to on Cape and you can actually see it's down now and that's because the train is going off and on and if you can see that sort of curved area that is the movable bit of the bridge and when it's not in use it is raised up into the top where those uh, peaks are and then when it's lowered the trains can go on and off the cape both to bring uh, trash off and on as well as during the summer it brings on the the cape flyer which is a train that runs from Boston to the Cape and stops at various places um, including Buzzards Bay I believe so yes I happen to be off Cape today just off Cape it's still technically the Cape you're just over the bridge and uh, in the little village Buzzards Bay I had to go um, do some errands so there's a little antique shop I wanted to stop at this is the main little square here and uh, there's the train station another view it's kind of raining and spitting out <laughs> a view of the uh, the gazebo or summer house and the uh, again the train railroad bridge that goes off and on cape cod and then we're going to head across the street here to this little shop buzzard bay antiques so we'll see what we can find today hopefully my camera lens isn't too covered <laughs> with rain spittering spattering Another view of the train station with the red tiled roof. And Buzzards Bay Park where we just were. And there's also a sweet little ice cream shop right there. And here we are coming up to the Buzzards Bay Antique Center. And there's some lovely cranberry glass, the red sandwich glass in the window. So we have some lovely cranberry glass in the window, so we'll go in and check out and see what we find. You can see it's uh, quite, quite full. Lots and lots of treasure, so there's no way I'll be able to share everything in one visit, but I'll still share you some things. I love that old mantle there. I think it's just display though. This area of the shop has some darling little uh, blue and white dishes and things, and uh, has very various sort of Cape Cod things, old ship's lanterns, ship models. I actually think this is kind of cute, this little needlepoint of the old gentleman with a pipe. Um, but again, I consider this probably more of, a, more of a thrift shop than necessarily an antique shop, because sometimes, oh, this is kind of cute, in blue and white, little pots. Sometimes, um, you find a little antique treasure. This is kind of uh, pretty, this blue and white platter. We can never have enough blue and white things. It looks like Staffordshire. It's kind of pretty. Let's see. Oh yeah, Royal Mail Staffordshire. That's kind of pretty, that's a possibility. Um, I haven't a lot of time today, so this probably will be a rather short little antique visit, and also the gentleman who's uh, running the shop actually needs to close up soon. Um, but there's some pretty blue and white jugs. But yeah, I'll just share what little bits I can find here, and we will definitely come back here. These are really pretty. I actually have, I don't remember if it's this pattern I got. These are really nice. I'm going to have to ask about this set because this actually would be nice. I'm actually probably not going to be getting anything today because as I said I have a short amount of time and also the gentleman doesn't have much time to close. He was kind enough to let me and the others who are shopping here keep looking around a bit. Um, but just again it has that sort of feeling of, of um, not a junk shop but more of a thrift shop mixed with antique shop with fun little things like this <laughs> vase made with shells and other little bits that could even be modern mass-produced pieces, but mixed in with old things like the, uh, the old milk glass. And I think these are funny, these little wooden cutouts of uh, fishermen. 
I think those would actually be sweet at Old King's as a little bedside tables or something. I like a little kitchen mixed in with antiques. But lots of lovely old wood. I kind of like this side table. I feel like I can never have enough side tables. And uh, some chests. Oh, I actually... This chest is really cool. Oh, I like this chair. This is an interesting old chair. I'll have to ask him about it. Looks interesting. The fabric isn't that bad. I probably could live with the fabric until I could uh, have it reupholstered. Lots of interesting bits of wood. Again, this place is um, its a fun little place to visit. And because it is just off Cape, you find that the prices are actually quite a bit better than, say, uh, once you get on the Cape proper, once you cross over the bridge. I like this little brown and white set. I don't think it's old, but I'm curious what it is. Actually, looks like this Laura Ashley uh, design I remember, but maybe it's not that modern. Let's find out. What is this? Huh? I was right, Laura Ashley. I thought I'd seen this before. I kind of like the sort of a almost an orangey um, brown and white. I think they'd be great for Thanksgiving, or they'd be awesome for autumnal displays besides uh, Thanksgiving even using them for like a Halloween party or something would be fun and of course <laughs> there are always old irons at antique shops which make great door stops and uh, even just pretty objects and the little Victorian prints and ornate frames are always fun some nice little stands washstand picture and uh, lovely stoneware these lidded stonewares are always nice to keep uh, dry goods like bird seed and things, as long as they're in a closed in area. But they always look pretty and they are very Cape Cod and they look lovely on tops of cabinets and things in kitchens. Um, and as you can see, I think they look really cute when they're turned into lamps. There's a little bed warmer there in the quintessential blue. So again, this place does very much have the feel of sort of a thrift shop uh, mixed with an antique, antique store, but it does have some fun little finds, and it's kind of nice to dig through a lot of various things to find the treasures. These little round boxes are kind of sweet, and there is a good collection of baskets. I like this screen here. This wooden screen is actually kind of nice, and good, uh, lots of like glass hurricanes and hurricane lamps which are always good. I like this little bakery department display. Um, it's kind of a cute spot. And there are some fun vintage, antique, and then of course more modern um, canisters. I like this old rooster canister. But these blue and white ones, these are probably not even maybe 10, 15 years old. But they are pretty and blue and white, so they actually could be quite pretty in the kitchen. So again, you sort of have that feel of kind of going to a tag sale as well as an antique store depending on what you find. Lots of old books and uh, various things. I, I like the old phones. I actually have an old phone that we used to have wired to um, when we used to have a landline which we no longer have and the funny old statues. Various bits of china. I actually think these old radios are really beautiful and the uh, person does um, have quite a few of them that are working so it would be lovely to have an old radio in the kitchen that's working. I kind of would like one rewired to put um, an mp3 player in that would still give the sound of a vintage um, radio. And of course, old typewriters, which my husband loves. He collects typewriters and uses them, actually. So you can see, oh, and see the old funny drop ceiling. Actually, the owner was telling me he's removing those, and underneath is the beautiful old Victorian tin ceiling. So he's trying to bring the place back. Oh, this is a really pretty uh, flow blue jug. Little jugs like these are great for a little flower vase, so I'll have to ask about that. Again, I haven't much time today, so I'm kind of making a mental list of what I like and uh, get prices and then probably come back next week sometime to get a few things. <laughs> Again, I love these funny um, see no evil, hear no evil. Um, actually, the see no evil is missing. They look like something some aunt in the 1950s probably brought back as a gift from Hawaii or something. And back here, it's actually the lights are off a little bit, but they have more kitchen things here, like uh, lovely kitchen scales, an old pudding tin. I love that old refrigerator. And jars, new and old. Oh, I do like, I love um, depression glass.
canisters. They're just nice to keep, especially in a pantry, to keep flowers, uh, grains, various things in. And this one's uh, quite nice. It has a little wooden handle. It would look really cute hanging in a pantry. Let's see what the cost is. 45 It's a little pricey, but it probably is actually old uh, vintage 1930s or 1940s glass. But again, in this type of place, you always can ask for a different price. It's a good size pudding tin. Now, I really, really do love vintage refrigerators, and I actually find they work quite well. This one's probably 1930s. I love these 1930s ones where they have the motor on the top. Um, and in fact, in uh, Old Kings, my um, antique cottage on uh, just near Sandwiches, um, has an old 50s 1951 refrigerator that we still use as the main refrigerator in that house. So I love this um, old bench. It's probably about six feet long and actually I shut the camera off for a second. I was asking the gentleman who runs the place and he said it actually came out of the, um, the Masonic Lodge in Sandwich. So I would love to consider it and maybe put it in the house in Sandwich. Now this area used to have more vintage clothing, but now it's just sort of a rummage sale. But I do like the old uh, old fruit crates, the wooden crates, which are great for storage or for hanging on the wall in the studio to keep um, paints and things organized. But you can see again, it has that rummage sale, tag sale feel with old um, albums and various detritus piled around, but you can always find little treasures. There's a sweet little piano chair and little tables like this little thing which actually looks like a little tobacco shelf it's really sweet here you can see out towards the front and a mixture of vintage modern and probably victorian shelves which are always good for hanging and storing things on and i'm not sure if you can actually if the camera will show out the window but again looking out the window you can see the um the train station and the um cape cod rail Ray bridge in the distance. Oh, I do. I love these. These are actually really good. These little Victorian piano benches or piano stools are really nice because they have a little swivel that allows you to swivel them up and down and they always have fun little claw feet. But they're great for plants because you can kind of put them at different heights depending on the size of the plant and the container you have on them. So those are great to keep if you have a plant room or a conservatory or just anywhere you like to keep plants. Oh, this is a lovely old, uh, this actually looks like an old lamp, probably arts and crafts, maybe, maybe 1910s or so. And the price reflects it, it's about 300. But it does look like an original old. Oh, I love, I love, the one good thing they do here is really good salvage. And I love this old sink, marble with the original bowl and the old um, brass taps. Might have to think about that. And I love old bird cages. I don't know, there's a, just something about the old wire cages I love. Nice, more wooden chests and things. Some milk glass. Actually, I was thinking this, this is a um, probably a mid-Victorian oak dresser, chest of drawers, and I like the details on it. However, it was probably just machine made at the time. So something like this would be beautiful to have that old sink I just showed you. If I were to cut into the top and have my new handyman fix it up, that could be a great base for the the old sink I was just showing you. I don't mind doing that with an older piece. Oh, I love, and of course I love Jasperware. And I love both the blue, this wonderful blue. You can tell we're on the Cape because there's a Sailor's Illustrated Bible. Um, this is a sweet little tea set, so have to see what he's going to ask for. But look, it has the uh, the teapot. And it is wedged with jasper ware, which I love. I love the this blue jasper ware. And I also love the sort of putty green color as well. But I don't have a, a really good teapot like that. And what's nice, of course, with jasper ware is the outside has that chalky feel. Um, but yet the inside, of course, is still glazed so that you can use it. This little bit in the corner here, I think, is kind of fun. It always has old garden tools and old funny implements like that. And you can see out into the street and just lots of lovely old bits of metal that you can always find a use for decoratively or utilitarianly. And look here out the window, you can again see the railroad bridge through the old bottles on the window ledge and the old train station.
Well, thank you for joining me for today's vlog and uh, this quick little visit. It was just a quick run to the antique shop, but I do hope and plan on doing more antique visits soon and through the summer. So uh, thank you for joining me for this week. And uh, now home again, home again, jiggity jig, and I'll see you next vlog. Thank you.